I've been watching my videos and I saw that the light isn't always enough for this iPhone to get good footage. You usually see this, the really black stuff starts to get little particles in it. And it's usually because there's not enough light and the iPhone just starts filling that in. So I have got a lot of this stuff over here. This is all scrap metal. Uh, this is a light that had a sensor on it, but it's not working anymore, but the light itself is. This is a part of, I think, bicycle carrier, which I bought for like for two, two euros uh, because of the steel. So I'm going to use this as a footing. I think I'm going to cut this off over here and use just use this part. And then I've got that, which is part of a bed. And these two pieces, they fit into each other. So I'm going to make this the adjustable um, stick. I'm going to put that on, on there so I can lower it and raise it. I'm going to weld that to this base. And then I should like have um, a standard, I guess, stand, stand for my light so I can use I can put in a bit more light uh, when I want to. So yeah, that is this video. I'm just going to screw around with that and uh, see if we can make work. I'm using a cordless angle grinder here and I can really recommend that. That is such a useful tool without the cord hanging around. So if you can, get one of those. So one of the reasons I do these little projects from scrap metal is because I can really get some practice with my welder. And I'd rather practice on scrap metal than on the actual bike I'm building. So that was the welding. So I've got this now. It's like a stand now. It's pretty firm. I kind of tilted it backwards. So it would keep itself more in balance. Uh, so I've got this rod that actually fits in here. Oh. There we go. So we can make this like adjustable. So I'm going to drill some holes to, sorry, to mount the light so we can mount it really low, really high, and then we can still, we can even look like go up and down with it. But I think I'm going to just drill one hole here and then do the others as well, because there's already holes in this, this piece, so I'm going to use that. So drill some holes and make it adjustable with like a bolt or something. So I drilled some holes uh, so we can like select different heights for this thing. So it was uh, toppling over, so I just added some weight with these, uh, this is the old chain from the uh, Suzuki. No, this is from the, yeah, the GS600. That's hot. I'm just welding this to this little frame, giving it a bit more weight so it won't topple over. By adding a weight to the base, I could keep it like really small so that the footing wouldn't be too big in my uh, small workshop.
As I was working on the light, I thought it might also be a good idea if I could fix my camera on this stand. So let's see if I can do that too. So I'm gonna put, well, this uh, on here, like so. And then I can put my camera here as well. And these can go up like that. So I can move along with the, ca with the light if I want to. So this is not something I intended to do, but because it's fun, I think I'm going to do it anyway. The selfie stick was a bit wobbly inside this cylinder, so I'm going to put a bolt in the back so I can really tighten it. So projects like this really helps to learn my welder, learn my skills and just get a feel for how much amps you could use, uh, how quickly the wire should go uh, in different situations. So this is what it's become now. That was a base from a uh, bicycle thing for behind the car. That is a chain from a Suzuki GSX-600F. And I got a piece from a bed frame and another piece from a bed frame. Uh, this is an old LED light that used to have motion sensing. It broke, but the light still worked. So we fixed that. Then we've got this piece that came from the same bed and welded it on and I put this four euro camera thingy selfie stick that I use everywhere like over there and over there to mount my iPhone. So that works really good. It can go up and down with the light. Welded a bolt at the back so I can fix this. Otherwise, it'll be wobbly. So all I need to do is this down, take out the bolt, and then it can go down. So this this position, I can even flip this. Cool. Let's video this. Is that what I'm feeding myself? No, I don't know. Like so. So, multiple uh, camera positions. That's pretty cool. Let's turn this off, see how it works with this uh, camera. So the light really drops. I think it'll work. Look at the light on this thing. It's really different. Yeah. I like this thing. Cool. So from my new camera position, uh, thank you very much for watching. So if you like what you saw in this video, um, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, there's more day-to-day -day updates from my channel as I built this bike which is nearly done and the new GS that is coming up this winter so please check them out thank you for watching cheers